I bought a comic collection and didn't even look at it. Yes, I bought a comic book collection and I barely looked at it. I just thumbed through one long box really quickly. I'm going to get into a very detailed story and we're going to go through it together. This is going to be a cool video. Uh, before we get into it, I just want to bring up again Golden Auctions. Guys, head over to Golden Auction. There is a link down below in the description. They do new weekly auctions. Much more affordable stuff than you're used to seeing over there. Uh, all auctions start on Tuesdays. They end on the following Thursday. Check them out. Again, there is a link in the description down below. What they're also doing too is if you're interested in selling books through Golden, they are doing a pressing service where you can send them the book, send them a raw book. They will clean it, press it, get it graded for you, then put it up for auction. Awesome service. Email them to get all the information about that. Again, guys, Golden Auctions in the description down below. There is a link to take you to those weekly auctions. Now with that, let's get into this collection. I'm going to be flat out honest with you guys. I looked at one long box very quickly. The reason was it was very cold out. That was the first thing. But as I was flipping through, uh, the seller mentioned to me that someone has already looked through this and taken books out. So I immediately was discouraged and I, I'm going to tell you what I paid for it because I stopped looking through the collection right then and there. I was like, all right, I'm done. Um, I can offer you and I'm going to tell you the price and why I'm, why I'm telling you the price now is because in this video and in future videos, what we're going to do is actually go through this collection together. You guys are going to see every single book. There's 13 long boxes and the point of this video is not really to tell you what I paid for the collection because we don't know what's really in there. The point of the video is, uh, I don't really know if there is a point of this video, but we're going to go through these boxes together. It'll be like treasure hunting. Uh, okay, what did I pay? I paid $400 for 13 long boxes. Pff, sounds like a good deal if we can find keys in there. Any type of, even the $10, $20 books, slowly but surely they can add up. So just because somebody looked through the collection doesn't necessarily mean that everything is gone. There's a possibility there is, but there's a chance that there's not. Uh, I'm going to need your guys' help in the comments down below. If I miss something, leave a comment. Let me know what I missed. What did I screw up? Because I'm not perfect. I miss things as well. So in this video, there's going to be multiple parts of this video probably coming out over the next month and month or two, uh, just when I get time to go through these boxes. There's 13 long boxes. I'm going to number them one through 13, and we'll probably do about two or three long boxes per video. Uh, the net, We'll probably do two in this video because this is a lot of talking, just so I can give you guys the full explanation on the situation. Uh, future videos, we'll probably do three at a time. So if there's 13, we go down to 11 and three. So there'll probably be like three or four videos like this where we're going through it uh, together. We're going to do it together. So with that enough, I'm going to take you to where the collection sits and we'll number the boxes and I'll bring boxes like one and two inside to break it down with you. Okay, so here they are. This is our stack. So uh, three, six, nine, 12, 13. So let's number them. Put this right here. One, two, three, four, let's move over here, <laughs> five, six, seven, let's move over here, eight, nine, ten, oh, let me put a little ten here, there we go, ten, and then eleven, twelve, Thirteen. All right, let's handle, let's deal with boxes one and two in this video. All right, so here's box one. Ugh, we're going to go through it. Um, so the one box that I kind of looked through, I quickly thumbed through one in like a TikTok video. Um, the other one that I looked at while, this doesn't even have a bag or a board. What is this anniversary issue? Eh, it's probably like a 5 or $10 book. I don't know. What if, what if. Um... The, the one that I actually looked through in outside, you know, when I was actually looking at the collection, um, I think it was Batman. Yeah, so this is all just miscellaneous. I mean, just miscellaneous X-Men. I'll probably do a more in-depth look after this. I'm sure you guys will call out stuff. All right, so Uncanny. I do consider Uncanny X-Men like a good title, though. So I will pull that kind of stuff. Uncanny, that's extreme. Extreme X-Men, I would not, I would say no. 
Limited. New X Men is good. Regular X Men is good. Oh, here more. What do we got here? No more anniversary issues. Yeah, yeah. You never know what you're gonna find, guys. So, Uncanny Annuals. X Men 101. More Uncanny. So when it comes to this stuff, uh, Ultimate X Men number one. I don't even think there's a major key in there. X Men. X Men. X Men will do this. More Uncanny. Some of these like obscure uncanny issues are worth a couple dollars but <clears throat> just because you know not a lot of people were buying them and i am sure i'm missing here just like minor first appearances some might be good i'm gonna pull all this out just because it's a good title hopefully this is an okay angle for you guys uh, that's not going to go in there. This will. This will pull this out. This is me again pulling good titles and bad titles. So, not that, but I will pull this. Sunfire. X Men. Uncanny X Men. Man, I wish it was in order too. Like, this is like. Not the best. X Men. It's riveting YouTube. Oh, we don't want that in there. Riveting content here. But, oh, we got a little something on the side. Oh, the swimsuit special. Of course, it's Iceman I flipped to. There you go. All right. Um, no. Let's pull these all out. Yeah, hopefully we can find something. Not X Men Prime. I don't care about that. New X Men Uncanny. Dark X Men. No. This I do care about. <clears throat> Boy. Stream X Men. No, thank you. I don't care about this. Uncanny. Can you guys see? Okay, I can bring it in closer. Limited universe. No, no. Here we go. Back to uncanny. Hmm. No. Uncanny. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright. Unlimited. Oh jeez, I'm just gonna forget all that. Unlimited, unlimited. Man, I wish this was in some kind of order. New X-Men, 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 X-Man. I'm not too concerned about X-Man. X-Men, Uncanny, oh, that was Unlimited. Oh man, I'm going to get ripped in the comments section. I, I'm sure I'm missing stuff here. This is only box one. We're going to do two boxes today in this video. We'll do, we'll probably do, oh, this in there, this in there. Oh, is this your first? Ah, no, I don't know. That's not a shame. Bring this closer. All right, uncanny. Uh, X Men. It's unlimited. No. No. X Men. X Men. X Men Unlimited. I don't want the Unlimited. I want the X. I want Uncanny and I want X Men. Those are the two titles I, I separate usually. X Men. X Men. See, this is ringing a bell. Morales, actually. Mark Morales inked that book. Mark Morales will be with me at KingCon live. Uh, we'll be doing a whatnot stream. If you guys come hang out and you get some stuff signed or sketched by Morales, we can get it off to CGC for you at that show. If you want to give me a follow <laughs> over there on whatnot. Excellent. No. See, I'm already nervous. This was an X-Men box, so I was expecting, the second we opened it, I was like hoping for something legit in here. I don't care about the classics. Unfortunately, unfortunately, not. Let's see, this I care about. All this I care about. Not really. <coughs> Man, sorry guys. My throat. Canny. Riveting. Like, maybe we'll find something. All right, let's grab these. None of these are bags of borders. Let's do this. All right, so X-Men Classic 1 is okay, but, like, 
Uh, this is okay, but the, the conditions on these ones aren't even worth what we got here. Alright, so we do have some more X-Men stuff. We don't I don't care about any of the classic X-Men. Oh, it's all classic, isn't it? Oh no. Yeah, it's all classic. Alright, so I'm gonna rearrange the camera. We're gonna go to box number two. This was box number one. Alright, so here's box number two. That's not very promising. You see the two there on the bottom. This is box two. It's yucky. All right, so I guess we're going to just go through this like this. All right. Team 7. This is not promising. This is this uh ay ay ay. This may be a dud too. Wet works, but I feel like there's something I don't know. This this could be this this video could be an L, guys. Uh, no, ah, you know, I'm actually going to pull these Mortal Kombat books. The reason is because there's a lot of love right now for video game books. And I, I'm going to have to look those ones up. Let's see. We got, okay. All right. Let's see what we got here. Team 7. Hellshock. Sorry. I know I'm a little off angle here. Storm. None of this stuff is... None of this stuff excites me. This is far too common. Oh. Oh, man. All right, this is far too common, guys. I know it looks like everything I find is great and grand and wonderful, but it's, you know, it's just recent. I've been on a good run, but this does happen a lot. But this is only, this is only two, two boxes. We have a lot more. Look at Spidey. Actually, he looks good there. Hmm. If there is she. All right. Here we go. Let's see. Wild Storm. Oh, what do we got in there? Some Wild Storm cards. Now, the interesting thing about Wild Storm. Uh, it doesn't matter. It's already gone. Death Blow. That's that's that's. I mean, we might as well call this entire collection so far Death Blow. Profit Storm March. Something. I gotta look some of this Storm March up. Stuff. Young Blood. Young Blood 1. But it's actually Young Blood 2 you want. That's the first Profit. Young Blood 1. That's it right there. We finally found. Oh, and it's the pink one. The pink title. This comes in pink and green. We finally found. A minor key. This is the first profit. All right, I'll put that with the Mortal Kombat stuff. There we go, guys. We're off and running now. Again, I paid $400 for this collection. We're only going to go through boxes one and two in this video. There'll be more videos, I promise, in, in the coming weeks. We'll slip one in every now and again. That's what she said. Right now, Poison Elves. I don't know if there's any big Poison Elf fans out there. Uh, there's, a, there's a lot of poison elves. Yeah, I wonder if this is like the whole run. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Oh, is there 22 in there? Nope, no 22. It's all gone to hell. <clears throat> 7, 28. Oh, we jumped to 33 now. 34, 37. Yeah, we're jumping around here. See, I wonder if there were keys in here and the person who looked through this before me pulled stuff out. They could have it. But I don't know. Uh, well, this went on for a while. 52. We might have to look up the Poison Elves situation. Because this is... We're up to 63, 64, 67. Oh, and then a mini-series with the Poisonous Elves. Wow. Okay. Now we have this stuff. It'd be cool if we could find, like, some Nintendo stuff in here. Nope, it's Astro City. Not even number one. Number two. I don't even know. I might be three. I don't even know. Castle waiting. I'm gonna have to put this. I'm gonna have to put this uh, box in in the fail. This is and it wasn't even full. It wasn't even full. There we go. Some more she. Huh. Okay, yay, yay, yay. Straight bullets. 
let's again this collection eight ball and eight ball all right so we went through two boxes let's talk about all our big finds all right, guys, so you saw two boxes. Boxes number one, box number two. Again, $400 for the collection. We pulled out the Youngblood number two. This is about a $20 book. I'm gonna even put it, it actually is in really good condition too. It's bagged, it's boarded. Uh, but remember, we pulled out two Mortal Kombat books. Well, they do need a press. The Mortal Kombat tournament edition does need a press. There's a big indent here. Two color breaking spine ticks, but other than that, we can flatten this thing out. If we do, it's gonna be about a $20 book, okay? So we're up to almost 40 bucks, roughly. And the Katana versus Molina in a near mint was going for $30. This is not near mint. It's got quite a few spine ticks on it. Uh, with a press, probably a $10 book. So, hey, two boxes, <coughs> $50. We're gonna inch our way towards that $400 mark and see if we can turn a profit. Stay tuned to more videos like this over the coming weeks and months because I won't be going through any of those boxes without you. <coughs> I promise, I got a throat thing. I promise you, you guys are gonna see every single book just like I'm going to. Together, we're gonna do it, we're a team. Let me know in the comments if I screwed anything up or missed anything. I need some water. Thank you guys so much for watching and as always, keep it comics.